in it doesn't feel good. Now she has to work out in front of the crowd. Body Power Expo, Birmingham, England. Chris Geffen, Danilin Bailey, DTP Shoulders. Here we go.
already know what it is. Remix. is a lost soul production if you are not ready to work hustle kill then please leave here, here, here we go
This is it, Dad. It's your last set. It's your best set. Chris, this is the last set. Last set. Go on, last set. Best set. Come on, let's go. Yes, easy. Let's rock it out. Get in the zone now. Finish Come on, Dad. Fail. Come on, Dad. Money set right here. Come on, Jay. Come on, finish it. Okay, rock it out. Let's have it. Come on. Get some anger in it. Come on. It's all you. Yeah? No need to stop now. No need to stop. Let's go. Stand straight. Come on. That's all you. Yes, good. How you feel, Ma? Nice shooting, Zach. All right, how about a big round of applause for these two? Working out hard. Just because they didn't throw up doesn't mean she didn't train hard, right, Chris? No, she did absolutely awesome. My friend who's, like, she was dying at the back of it. You know, Chris, she's like, she's, uh, her immune system's down or something. Like that. So, a little bit of vitamin C, some multivitamins in there. She's absolutely fine. She really pulled out the hump. She tried hard. She didn't try it. She did it. She did real good. Yeah, now, are you accustomed to training with the high reps? This is something you were involved in. Like, did you start off by like, most finding the low reps and being involved in the higher reps? Yeah, yeah. I used to train extremely heavy. I, you know, to the extreme that I used to incorporate like the Doreen Yates style of HRT training. And it worked great. However, I was succumbing to a lot of injuries at the same time. So I kind of. Uh, fell into DTP by accident and got great results from it, so I adapted accordingly to it. Dana, what's the most noticeable difference in this style of training compared to what you normally been doing? I sweat a lot more. <laughs> now, uh, I do high reps, usually on leg day. My legs have always been like that aspect. I haven't quite understood how to train them yet. I tried heavy, I tried light, so sometimes I'll do like a heavy leg day and a light where I'm only doing 30 reps, but I have never been to 50. Your traps and delts like doubled in size as you started. Yeah. That's with the rush of all the blood in, into the system. So what's the downside of this type of, type of training? You get sore, a lot more sore with the high repetitions? Yeah, you become extremely sore. Uh, you, you know, obviously with the high repetitions, incorporated with the low repetitions, you become sore. You do become conditioned to, to a certain aspect, but you know, as you know, Sean, you know, when you become conditioned, you push it a little bit further, so you never really truly adapt. You know, it's like you are sore, and uh, you know, you have to put in a lot of calories to ensure that you can recover from this type of workout and have enough fuel for the next workout. You know, so if you're lacking in sleep or lacking in, you know, in nutrition or especially hydration, you know, you will feel the effects and you will overtrain. And a good way to overcome the soreness is to get it massaged out, get that lactic acid rubbed out, and stay hydrated. So I'm gonna open up the question.